No concrete HD video evidence taken by NBC cameras of any malfeasance. So, of course, everything's on the up and up as usual. And since everything Trump says always gets fact checked, fact checking is now back. We expected plenty of corrections in this one. And in fact, NBC did an entire write up of the fact checks for the president's interview, something that they never do when Biden lays down a 20 minute endless stream of lies and incoherent nonsense. NBC's fact check on this one was priceless, starting with immigration after the former president said this. I built almost 500 miles of wall. We were then going to build another 200 miles of certain areas that all of a sudden people were coming into areas that they couldn't come into anymore. And we're all set to do that. So Trump says he built almost 500 miles of wall. That's another Trumpy lie from Trump the liar, screams NBC. And then take a look at the, the fact check, the correction. A Customs and Border Protection spokesman said in Trump's final days in office that the administration had built 453 miles of new border wall system. So according to NBC, that is not almost 500 miles, which is what Trump said. He said almost 500 miles. 453 miles apparently is not almost 500 miles. Just know that. A good one there. And then they corrected this claim on what was the disastrous Afghanistan exit. Take a look. We gave $85 billion worth of equipment to the Taliban. Well, it's another Trump lie, NBC says. It was only $7.1 billion in equipment, they say. But then you see a clarification. And you find NBC actually forced to say that it was $83 billion when you look at the total that we spent preparing Afghan security forces for 20 years. Not nearly the full cost of the war, just the preparation of Afghan security forces. Another great correction. What did Trump say? 85? Now they're saying 83? Par for the course. Outside of the fact-checking, there was a news-making moment for Trump on Meet the Press. Something important did happen when the former president in my opinion, neutralized one of the left's biggest fear tactics that they're going to use in 2024, and that is the issue of abortion. Now, Trump never gave a specific policy plan, but he certainly appealed to the moderates in this country when talking about this. He complimented the idea of 15 weeks. He didn't say that's what he wants to do. He didn't say he wants to do anything at all. It's back to the states now, and as far as he's concerned, he says that's what it should be. But he did compliment 15 weeks, which is a huge disappointment to the left wing fear mongers trying to elicit votes by selling Republicans as the party turning the United States into the handmaid's tale. And of course, there's a lot of everybody has an opinion on abortion. It's a very touchy, tough subject. But if you're going to win an election, this is probably a pretty good place to start if you're the Republican and you're trying to neutralize a threat from the other side. Take a look at how the president spoke. Other than certain parts of the country, you can't, you're not going to win on this issue. But you will win on this issue when you come up with the right number of weeks. Because Democrats don't want to be radical on the issue. Most of them, some do. They don't want to be radical on the issue. They don't want to kill a baby in the seventh month or the ninth month or after birth. And they're allowed to do that. And you can't do that. People are starting to think of 15 weeks that seems to be a number that people are talking about right now would you sign that uh, uh, i would i would sit down with both sides and i'd negotiate something and we'll end up with peace on that issue for the first time in 52 years